What's going on everybody? Boost Sports Racing coming back at you again. Um, we have a different build today that we're gonna talk about. We just moved the cars around as you can see. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's actually, there's four cars and a three car garage, right? That happens, I guess, when you're car people, you just make it happen. Anyways, we're blessed to have that. So we have room to make multiple things happen inside this garage. I don't think I've updated you on what's been going on with this car. It's kind of been just sitting around, um, kind of like not on the channel cage, right? Um, Stephanie is going to get a little bit more into racing and she wants to make some more power with the car. So safety first. Well, that brings us to our next thing. This, right? I have been fighting her ever since she went with this. Um, I was never a fan of Pro Charger just because of there's a lot of issues with this thing, right? Like, look at this, man. The belt itself, it's it's routed weird. You have to do custom work to the car itself. Nothing against Pro Charger, but their kits are not one off for cars. They're going to need to have some work done to them. You know, we're going to four valve swap it and that's it. I'm tired of this little junky ass two valve. I'm tired of the Pro Charger. We're just going to put a four valve in it. Just joking, you guys. I wish, but a lot of people love the two valve. Some people hate it. Um, I think it's a cool platform. I think it's something different. Um, we have some big plans for this thing, but right now we're just going to swap over this Pro Charger and we're going to go with a turbo. So she contacted on three. We got the hot side kit. As you can see, a lot of the cold side was already custom done because she has the bullet intake manifold. It's going to be a two valve with a turbocharger and six speed. She also went ahead and bought something she's always wanted for the car. Um, if that's not enough, right? So this two valve's got 225,000 miles on it. We all know this thing's gonna take a shit sooner or later. However, we're planning on um, this winter building a, a two valve for the car. So we're either gonna use a WAP block um, or we're gonna go get a, um, an aluminum block out of like a older, you know, early 2000s Explorer V8 car or SUV. And so that, with that being said, the one thing she's always wanted on this car is some baller wheels. So we've had race stars. I have race stars for the Cobra. People call them poverty stars. It really doesn't matter what you call them. They work. Um, but she's always wanted some welds. Crazy two valve build, but I think, you know, for the street and what she wants to do with the car to be perfect, uh, I think the goal is to go faster than what she went with the Pro Charger, which was 1190. I think she'll be able to do that and some even on this stock block. I think with the two valve being turbocharged, it will do a lot better than this Pro Charge. It was kind of limited by the belt and everything else. Um, so once we get to swapping everything over, she have a little monster here. Um, and then, like I said, we'll probably build a two valve for it. Probably make somewhere in the seven to 800 horsepower range is what we're guessing or hoping for. And then she's going to have a, I guess you can call it Terminator Killer, and we'll start labeling it as such. But Pro Charger deletion is going to happen, and I'm so excited. Like, I don't even think you guys realize. So I, if you're a Pro Charger fan, don't feel, if you have something to say to me because I say that about the 2 valve being Pro Charge, uh, just wait, stick around, and see what it does with the, with the turbo. If I, if the car goes slower with the turbo than with, it, with the Pro Charger, I'll take back everything I said. So we went and got the blower off this car. We took the water pump pulley off. Um, Cause there's a couple things you have to do with the Pro Charger kit, like flip things around and stuff like that. So I started trying to do stuff that I remember that we had to do. Um, I dropped the hot pipe or the hot side pipe of the car that was connected to the Pro Charger because it's in the way of where the radiator hose and expansion um, tank is. Since we're going with the on three kit, it deletes this and it moves. Uh, it has a metal pipe that kind of comes a little bit more inwards to give room for the turbo i'm super excited for this build we have to do a couple other things to get it right but the goal is to get after it um pretty much every day when i get off work i'm gonna come out here and turn some wrenches for 30 to 45 minutes I have to have my buddy q you already know bro i need you to come up help me out on this one and there's something on that white car i need you to help me out with as well um <clears throat> as always you guys know he comes up and helps me weld and you know, big brother always there. So I appreciate you as always, bro. 
If I have to fly you out here, it don't matter.